In Greco-Roman geography, Colchis was the name for a region in the southern Caucasus. Colchis was located on the eastern coast of the Black Sea, centered on present-day western Georgia. Around the 1st centuries BC and AD the land south of the Greater Caucasus and north of the Lesser Caucasus was divided between Colchis in the west, Caucasian Iberia in the center and Caucasian Albania in the east. To the southwest was Armenia and to the southeast Atropatan. The Colchians were the population native to Colchis. They are assumed to have been early Kartvelian speaking tribes, ancestral to the contemporary groups of Spans, Mingrelians and Laz. Ancestors of the Colchians were probably established on the Black Sea coast from as early as the Middle Bronze Age. For centuries, until its annexation by Pontus in 164 BC, Colchis was an independent kingdom. This kingdom has been described in modern scholarship as the earliest Georgian formation. Colchis would later contribute significantly to the development of medieval Georgian statehood, alongside Iberia. Colchis is also an important land in Greco-Roman mythology, most notably as the Kingdom of Medea and the Golden Fleece, destination of the Argonauts. Geography and Toponyms, the Kingdom of Colchis, Cochis or Color which existed from the sea. 13th to the 1st centuries BC is regarded as an early ethnically Georgian polity. The name of the Colchians was used as the collective term for early Kartvelian tribes which populated the eastern coast of the Black Sea in Greco-Roman ethnography. According to the scholar of the Caucasian studies Cyril Tumainov, Colchis appears as the first Caucasian state to have achieved the coalescence of the newcomer. Colchis can be justly regarded as not a proto-Georgian, but a Georgian kingdom it would seem natural to seek the beginnings of Georgian social history in Colchis the earliest Georgian formation. A second South Caucasian tribal union emerged in the 13th century BC on the Black Sea coast. According to most classic authors, a district which was bounded on the southwest by Pontus, on the west by the Black Sea as far as the river Carax, on the north by the chain of the Greater Caucasus, which lay between it and Asiatic Sarmatia, on the east by Iberia and Montes Moshsi, and on the south by Armenia. There is some little difference in authors as to the extent of the country westward, thus Strabo makes Colchis begin at Trabzon, while Ptolemy, on the other hand, extends Pontus to the Rioni River. Pitsunda was the last town to the north in Colchis. The name of Colchis first appears in Aeschylus and Pindar. The earlier writers only speak about it under the name of Aia, the residence of the mythical king Aia Tess, Colchi and Aia lies at the furthest limits of sea and earth wrote Apollonius of Rhodes. The main river was the Phasis, which was according to some writers the south boundary of Colchis, but more probably flowed through the middle of that country from the Caucasus west by south to the Ain, and the Anticets or Aticetus. Bayrian mentions many others by name, but they would seem to have been little more than mountain torrents, the most important of them were Chayas, Cobus or Cobus, Sinames, Tarsuras, Hippus, Astolephus, Chrishaus, several of which are also noticed by Ptolemy and Pliny. The chief towns were Dioscurias or Dioscuris on the seaboard of the Aeon, Sarapana, Phasis, Pityus, Asaros, Sium, Archaeopolis, Machheresis, and Cita or Cutitisium or Aya, the traditional birthplace of Medea. Silax mentions also Mala or Male, which he, in contradiction to other writers, makes the birthplace of Medea. Physical geographic characteristics. In physical geography, Colchis is usually defined as the area east of the Black Sea coast, restricted from the north by southwestern slopes of the Greater Caucasus mountain range, from the south by the northern slopes of the Lesser Caucasus in Georgia and eastern Black Sea mountains in Turkey, and from the east by Licky Range, connecting the Greater and the Lesser Caucasus mountain ranges. The central part of the region is Colchis Plain stretching between Sukumi and Kobulti. Most of that lies on the elevation below 20 m above sea level. Marginal parts of the region are mountains of the Great and the Lesser Caucasus and Licky Range. Its territory mostly corresponds to what is now the western part of Georgia and encompasses the present-day Georgian provinces of Samgrelo, Imariti, Guria, Ajera, Abkhazti, Svaneti, Raja. The modern Turkey a Euro unregistered trademark S. Rise, Trabzon and Artvin provinces. 
and the modern Rossi Euro unregistered trademark S. Sochi and Tuops districts. The climate is mild humid. Near Bachami, annual rainfall level reaches 4,000 mm, which is the absolute maximum for the continental western Eurasia. The dominating natural landscapes of Colchis are temperate rainforests, yet degraded in the plain part of the region. Wetlands Subalpine and alpine meadows. The Colchis has a high proportion of tertiary relic plants and animals, with the closest relatives in distant parts of the world, five species of rhododendrons and other evergreen shrubs, wingnuts, Caucasian salamander, Caucasian parsley frog, eight endemic species of lizards from the genus Darovskia, Caucasian adder, Robert's bull, and endemic cave shrimps. History equals prehistory and earliest references equals the eastern black sea region in antiquity was home to the well-developed bronze age culture known as the colchian culture related to the neighboring coban culture that emerged towards the middle bronze age in at least some parts of colchis the process of urbanization seems to have been well advanced by the end of the second millennium bc centuries before greek settlement the Colchian Late Bronze Age saw the development of significant skill in the smelting and casting of metals. Sophisticated farming implements were made, and fertile, well-watered lowlands and a mild climate promoted the growth of progressive agricultural techniques. Colchis was inhabited by a number of related but distinct tribes whose settlements lay along the shore of the Black Sea. Chief among those were the Makalones, Hinokai, Zydriti, Lazy, Shalibis, Table Tubal, Mos Sinosi, Macrons, Mui, Mars, Apsale, Abasi, Sanage, Karaxi, Kolai, Melanchlani, Chloni, and Soni. These Colchian tribes differed so completely in language and appearance from the surrounding Indo European nations that the ancients provided various wild theories to account for the phenomenon. Herodotus regarded the Colchians as ancient Egyptian race. Herodotus states that the Colchians, with the ancient Egyptians and the Ethiopians, were the first to practice circumcision, a custom which he claims that the Colchians inherited from remnants of the army of Pharaoh Sisostris. Apollonius of Rhodes states that the Egyptians of Colchis preserved as heirlooms a number of wooden tablets, which show, with considerable accuracy, seas and highways. According to Pliny the Elder, the Colchians were governed by their own kings in the earliest ages, that Sisostris king of Egypt was overcome in Scythia, and put to fight, by the king of Colchis, which if true, that the Colchians not only had kings in those times, but were a very powerful people. Many modern theories suggest that the ancestors of the Lasmingrelians constituted the dominant ethnic and cultural presence in the region in antiquity, and hence played a significant role in the ethnogenesis of the modern Georgians. Equals color and Persian rule equals in the 13th century BC, the kingdom of Colchis was formed as a result of the increasing consolidation of the tribes inhabiting the region. This power, celebrated in Greek mythology as the destination of the Argonauts, the home of Medea and the special domain of sorcery, was known to Eurasians as Kala. The kingdom of Table was conquered by the Assyrian emperor Shalmanes III in the 830s BC. Being in permanent wars with the neighboring nations, the Colchians managed to absorb part of Diore in the 750s BC, but lost several provinces to the Sardurite Uavarachu following the wars of 750-748 and 744-742 BC. Overrun by the Sumerians and Scythians in the 730s-720s BC, the kingdom disintegrated and came under the Achaemenid Persian Empire towards the mid-6th century BC. The tribes living in the southern Colchis were incorporated into the 19th satrapy of Persia, while the northern tribes submitted a Euro Oe voluntarily Euro and had to send to the Persian court 100 girls and 100 boys every five years. The influence exerted on Colchis by the vast Achaemenid Empire with its thriving commerce and wide economic and commercial ties with other regions accelerated the socio economic development of the Colchian land. Subsequently the Colchis people appear to have overthrown the Persian authority, and to have formed an independent state. According to Ronald Sunni, this western Georgian state was federated to Kartli Iberia, and its kings ruled through Skeptiki who received a staff from the king. Equals Greek colonization equals, 
the advanced economy and favorable geographic and natural conditions of the area attracted the Milesian Greeks who colonized the Colchian coast establishing here their trading posts at Phasis, Chionos, and Sukumi in the 6th 5th centuries BC. It was considered the farthest voyage according to an ancient Greek proverbial expression, the easternmost location in that society's known world, where the sun rose. It was situated just outside the lands conquered by Alexander the Great. Phasis and Dioscurias were the splendid Greek cities dominated by the mercantile oligarchies, sometimes being troubled by the Colchians from the hinterland before seemingly assimilating totally. After the fall of the Persian Empire, a significant part of Colchis locally known as Egrisi was annexed to the recently created Kingdom of Iberia in circa 302 BC. However, soon Colchis seceded and broke up into several small princedoms ruled by Septuci. They retained a degree of independence until conquered by Mithridates VI of Pontus. Equals under Pontus equals, Mithridates VI quelled an uprising in the region in 83 BC and gave Colchis to his son Mithridates, who was soon executed being suspected in having plotted against his father. During the Third Mithridatic War, Mithridates VI made another his son Micaiah's king of Colchis, who held his power but for a short period. On the defeat of Mithridates VI of Pontus in 65 BC, Colchis was occupied by Pompey, who captured one of the local chief Solvaces, and installed Aristarchus as a dynast. On the fall of Pompey, Pharnaces II, son of Mithridates, took advantage of Julius Caesar being occupied in Egypt, and reduced Colchis, Armenia, and some part of Cappadocia, defeating Gnaeus Domitius Calvinus, whom Caesar subsequently sent against him. His triumph was, however, short-lived. Under Polemon I, the son and heir of Zenon, Colchis was part of the Pontus and the Bosporan kingdom. After the death of Polemon, his second wife Pythodorida of Pontus retained possession of Colchis as well as of Pontus itself, though the kingdom of Bosporus was wrested from her power. Her son and successor Polemon II of Pontus was induced by Emperor Nero to abdicate the throne, and both Pontus and Colchis were incorporated in the province of Galatia and later in Cappadocia. Phasis, Dioscurias and other Greek settlements of the coast did not fully recover after the wars of 60-40 BC and Chbizan became the economical and political center of the region. Equals under Roman rule equals. Despite the fact that all major fortresses along the sea coast were occupied by the Romans, their rule was relatively loose. In 69, the people of Pontus and Colchis under Anicetus staged a major uprising against the Romans which ended unsuccessfully. The lowlands and coastal area were frequently raided by fierce mountain tribes, with the Sones and Hinoki being the most powerful of them. Paying a nominal homage to Rome, they created their own kingdoms and enjoyed significant independence. Christianity began to spread in the early first century. Traditional accounts relate the event with St. Andrew, St. Simon the Zealot, and St. Mateta. The Hellenistic, local pagan and Mithraic religious beliefs would however remain widespread until the 4th century. By the 130s, the kingdoms of Makalones, Hinoki, Egrisi, Apsilia, Abashgia, and Synegia had occupied the district from south to north. Goths, dwelling in the Crimea and looking for new homes, raided Colchis in 253, but were repulsed with the help of the Roman garrison of Pitsunder. By the 3rd 4th centuries, most of the local kingdoms and principalities had been subjugated by the Lazic kings, and thereafter the country was generally referred to as Lazica. Rulers Little is known of the rulers of Colchis. Kujai of Colchis, Aix, King of Colchis. His name is found on a coin issued by him. Saulus's, King in the 2nd century BC. Mithridates, under the authority of Pontus. Macares, under the authority of Pontus. Note, during his reign, the local chiefs, Septuci, continued to exercise some power. One of them, Boldaces, is mentioned by the Roman sources as a captive of Pompey in 65 BC. Aristarchus, a dynasty under the authority of Pompey. Colchis in mythology. In Greek mythology, Colchis was the home of Aria Tess, Medea, Golden Fleece, Fire-breathing Bulls Kalkotoroi and the destination of the Argonauts. 
Colchis is also thought to be the possible homeland of the Amazons. According to the Greek mythology, Colchis was a fabulously wealthy land situated on the mysterious periphery of the heroic world. Here in the sacred grove of the war god Ares, King Aeotes hung the Golden Fleece until it was seized by Jason and the Argonauts. Colchis was also the land where the mythological Prometheus was punished by being chained to a mountain while an eagle ate at his liver for revealing to humanity the secret of fire. Amazons also were said to be of Scythian origin from Colchis. Apollonius of Rhodes named Aea as the main city. The main mythical characters from Colchis are, Aea Tess, king of Colchis, son of the sun god Helios and the oceanid Perseus brother of Cyrus and Pasiphae, and father of Medea, Chalciope and Apsitus, Idae, queen of Colchis, mother of Medea, Chalciope and Apsitus, Medea, daughter of King Aeotes, Chalciope, daughter of King Aeotes, Apsitus, son of Aeotes, Cis, sister of King Aeotes, Passiphor, sister of Aeotes, aunt of Medea. See also, Egrisi, History of Georgia, Pontus, Roman Georgia. References Further reading, Braund, David. 1994. Georgia in Antiquity, A History of Colchis in Transcaucasian Iberia 550 BC AD 562. Clarendon Press, Oxford. ISBN 0-19-814473-3, Gosher at Seth's Clades. Peshkneri and its Environs, 6 CBC 4 CAD. Annals Litter Copyright Rias de l'Universita Copyright de Franche Comte Copyright, 659, Editors, M. Clavel La Copyright Varque, E. Jenny, P. La Copyright Varque. Paris, Presses Universitaires Franc Comte Wises, 1999. ISBN 2-913322-42-5, Otalit Kipanids. Fasis. The River and City of Colchis. Geographica Historica 15, Franz Steiner 2000. ISBN 3-515-07271-3, Alexander Malamud. Colchis Today An article from, The Geographical Review. American Geographical Society, 1993. ISBN B0009252 IWE, Akaki Urashads. The Country of the Enchantress Media, Tbilisi, 1984. External links, Colchis in Dictionary of Greek and Roman Geography, Colchian Coins, Strabo on Colchis, Herodotus on Colchis, Pliny on Colchis, Golden Graves, Archaeological Evidences, Colchis, Colchis.